Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about planning for retirement. Um, I've created a spreadsheet here that will basically show us the amount of money that we need to save on an annual basis in order to reach our retirement goal. Okay, so let's get started. Let's assume that you are making an annual income of $50,000 each year. So what I've done here is I have created a formula that shows me the annual re retirement income needed by the time I plan I want to retire. So let's say I'm 30 years old and let's say I want to plan for retirement by the time I hit 65 years old, right? In order for me to have the equivalent of $50,000 today, I will actually need 125,000 at age 65 and that's because of inflation right so on average inflation is going up three percent each year so I created a formula here that shows me if I get my income and I multiply it by the annual inflation rate for the next 31 years I get a total amount of 125,000 so this is the amount that I will need for the retirement age of 65. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start with the planning. So now that we have our income needed, uh, we have 30 years until retirement, and we want to have sufficient amount of money for 35 years while in retirement, right? So the total amount of money that we need by age 65 is about $1.8 million, right? That will give us enough money to have $125,000 each year for the next 35 years into retirement. Okay, and so basically we need to figure out how much money do we need to invest today in order to get to $1.8 million, right? So we have, calcu we have entered an Excel function here that shows us if we invest $180,000 today at a rate of return of 6% for the next 35 years, we will end up with the total amount of $1.8 million, right? So now you may ask, Eric, this $180,000 is a lot of money. How am I supposed to invest that today? I mean, I don't have that kind of money. And for most people, you're probably right. So there's actually an, an, an easier way that, or I want to say a more practical way that you can plan for retirement without having to invest a large amount of money, such as what we have here. So if you look at the value underneath, this shows us the annual investment required. So instead of making a one-time investment of 180000 we can actually accomplish our goal by investing a certain amount of money each year, right? And this amount is $15,997 each year, okay? So now the formula is a little bit different, right? This is assuming that if we invest 15000 at a rate of return of 8% for the next 35 years, we should be able to accomplish our goal of reaching 1.8 million. Now, that might be a little bit more difficult to achieve given that the last 10 year return of the S&P 500 has been about 7 to 8%. Now, normally if you hold an S&P 500 index that should be achievable, right? But the problem is that as you get closer to retirement, that would mean that you would be taking a lot more risk just to get the 8% rate of return, right? So ideally, you know, for someone who is 30 years old can take a lot more risk than someone who's 55 years old or even 60 years old, right? So that would mean that this rate of return might not be um, achievable for someone who wants to end up with $1.8 million per year. But again, this is just a practical example. Um, ideally, 
And what I've done here as well is this amount is absolutely achievable for someone who makes $50,000 per year. This would mean that they would have to save about $32,000, I'm sorry, 32% of their annual income. And this can easily be done in a 401k account offered by an employer, right? Um, and that's also assuming that we don't have any promotions or raises. Uh, but ideally, even if you have a, a income increase, uh, let's say you get a promotion and you make $70,000, right? You would only have to save about 22% of your income in order to get to your retirement goal. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you would like me to cover any questions or comments that would help make planning for retirement easier. But I hope I've emphasized on the importance of saving for retirement and investing. Thanks and have a great day.